Rustin Nanangwe was the only Ugandan player who earned recognition at the recently concluded U18 Afro Basket Championship, which was held in South Africa. The junior gazelles finished fourth, their best ever finish in five appearances at the tournament, having taken part in 2008, 2016, 2018 and 2022. The St. Noah Girls School student emerged the second leading scorer of the tournament with an average score of 20 points per game. She also averaged 8.3 rebounds, two assists and was named on the team of the tournament. I had trust in myself. I trusted myself that I can do better than I, I have been doing in these last games I had in Uganda. So when I went there, I had the belief that we can do something and we can step up on another level. Despite being placed in one of the toughest groups at the tournament that also featured Nigeria and Egypt, Nenangwe says she had confidence in herself and the entire team. We are not afraid because they are the same age like us. So we had to first focus on the games and we had to put up the competition so that we can compete with them and we see where we are. Their impressive performances in the group stages also included an 80 to 64 points defeat of Nigeria before they lost to the same team in the semi finals. When, when we beat them, we thought it was the end. For them, they went and corrected, but we had to correct our mistakes, but we didn't focus more. Nanango says the Afro Basket Championship was a learning curve for the entire team. I encourage everyone on court like, to step up when we are playing so that all our focus is the same, like we are focusing on the same thing, on the same goal, not like everyone is diverted with this, this, this. We have to, all of us, keep up together. She believes the tournament was a gateway for her much anticipated professional basketball career. I got some scouts like, who, who asked me about my basketball life like they asked me how i started what they all like to give them more information about me nanangwe a senior four candidate was lured into playing basketball while in primary seven vacation by the saint noah girls school games teacher michael ikiringi she later temporarily dropped the sport to concentrate on academics before she picked on the game once again ahead of the 2022 national secondary schools games after classes i used to come on court i used to come early so that i can I can first get, I get some skills before we start training as a team. Her games teacher Ikiringi explains why the school needed her on the basketball team. She was first of all energetic and she was athletic. And as a person who has been in a basketball fraternity, I found it with ease to introduce to her the game of basketball because it requires somehow the energy after her national team call-up and her eventual good performance at the Afro Basket Championship, Ikiringi does not regret sporting Nenangwe for basketball. Very happy for the girl that I got from nowhere and uh, she has made it all in basketball. She has played for our school, she has put us to a level, she is always the top scorer in our team. Even if she's going for the national team, she's the top scorer. Nenangwe's national team coach, John Omondi and Ikiringi, say she's destined for great future in the sport. I see Vesti playing for the national team. And uh, with uh, that growth, I may see also going abroad. I think uh, there are opportunities out there for her, uh, given the fact that she's still young. Uh, I think uh, so many... <laughs> So many options are there, but I, I pray and uh, believe she's going to pick uh, the best options. The big man player is well aware she has much to learn on her career trajectory. My talent is still growing because I'm still working hard and hard. I'm still working out. It is not the end because I've gone outside, I've done what I have to train more so that I can be where I am, uh, like I want to be. As she prepares for her senior four examinations next month, Nenangwe will take a short break from basketball to focus on her studies while keeping a passion for the sport alive. <laughs>